So then, following on from the building, when we're taking the building down, the other video, this is, I thought I'd come and show you where the actual land is, where we're thinking of putting the new unit. Uh, ultimately, it's not going to be for a while anyway, but uh, th this is what we call Finland. So we'll have a little walk around and show you a few bits. Uh, it's me lad's land. We got it about two years ago now. Uh, it's like 2.5 acres, something like that. Mainly woodland and bog. It's not the best land. No, it's sound. It's, uh, we've got, it, I think it was an old quarry, maybe something like that at one point. But um, as you have a little look around, yeah, you'll see some of the stuff. It's pretty cool though. It's got big plans. Big. So this area, we put this in. A couple, this is the first little bit that we put in. We have to dig this hard standing in. You can see where the, the land is up there. Dug all this out. This is all terrain stoned up. It's got a bit green and mouldy now because, it, like I say, it's a bit of a slow, slow burn of a project. And the old gates are, that we're making over there. And you can see, yeah, we've got plenty of hillside there and a little other projects that's on the go over here. Because you can't beat a little project, can you? Now this, this is a Finn will tell you the year. I can't remember the year. It's an old JCB. We got this a while ago, and my lad Finn, he's been working his way through it. It's a big old beast of probably about six and a half, seven tons, something like that. As you can see, look at it. He's on the go with it. So eventually, we'll get this up and running. And it'll just help out around here, moving, digging. You know, there's always something to do with these sort of lands. Um, this is, we've been sort of doing, we did a lot of work on this over summer. Uh, this is, as you can see, we've been working our way through. Hopefully we'll be able to get some sort of storage on here. Maybe that building along this bit with a bit more work, but yeah, it's, um, it's a cool little place. It's cool, obviously. It's only a fraction of what we've got over at the 110 there. I think, like I say, we're on about two and a half acres here. Um, and this, we, we've dug this out, got it to a, a decent finish because it was pretty unusable, what was here. And another bark of dogs. It's nice to have little pooches on site. And um, yeah, like coming into winter now, so it doesn't look as nice as it did. But yeah, so Finland, we've got some cool stuff over there. Down there, we've got a decent stream that's running down there. Um, loads of woodland, and again, this is the the hard standing area that we've we've been prepared. Yeah, as you can see. We've done a fair bit of work here. We've must have forget. Uh, I have no idea really how many tons, but yeah, we've coming down a slope. It was an old quarry thing, so this might have been the spoil that they dug out from the quarry, put it all up here, and we've just gradually just sort of flattened it out. As you can see, we've got some fins kept some of the trees there, which is really nice. Uh, got a tractor there, trailer that we're doing up and stuff like that. But this all. We've got it dug down, so we're going to tran this up, stone this up. This will be a nice hard standing area like up there. Since you get some buildings. And we yeah, nice stream there. So the idea is that whatever we do here, it's all going to be off grid. So we've got a decent flow of water through that. Well, I might have a walk down today and show you down there, but I'd like to get some hydroelectric on there. We're going to have the PV panels, composting toilets, maybe a septic tanks or his treatment plant something like that but, but yeah everything that's going to go here is going to be off grid and um it's just a really cool little place to be he's spent many a night camping up here uh, and yeah it is it's nice so we've got a lot to do but it's one of them things you know when you get land it just it swallows time like you can't believe it like just doing the smallest things take ages and but it's not going anywhere, is it? It's ours now, and you know we're just going to work our way through it and get bits and pieces done on it. So we'll keep you posted. The boys are over at the site at the minute, taking the carrying, taking the building down. Going to nip over there in a bit after this now. Uh, I believe we've got roof sheets off. Zed purlins are coming down now, and then it's going to be the big bits of steel. So all hands on deck while we um, get the steels down. I'm guessing. Maybe we'll have a little walk over that stream in a minute. 
So these are cool little bits I'll show you. So we've got this one here. It's actually dug it in and we graded that off and there's a one over there. So the idea is that we're going to put tracks in that are going to drop down there. You better come up here. And then that one there, you can see it through that tree there. You better come back through here on the mini bikes and stuff and it's going to be up there. And then the bank over there, we're going to cut a little kicker into there, take the lip off. So it's up into the woods little circuit around there and then come back down along the perimeter so we should be able to get quite a tidy little circuit in down there um but yeah again just graded off nicely you can't really see it now because like this was done in summer and it's again it's winter now and it's just like raining and boggy and mucky but uh, but yeah you can see this one here we'll over here that one there this, you see where it's rough there, we've graded that in, so you be able to come in off that bank over there, around there, and it'll be hitting straight up there. You can just sort of see where we've um, cut the lip out on there, but yeah, it's going to be sad. Nice, you've got to have fun for the pitties and stuff, haven't you? Pointless otherwise. This is down at the lower level here, you can just about make out some of the tracks. So if you remember from him, um, in the video when we were over at the 110 and we had my mate Ash and he was in his, uh, his his Land Cruiser, we had that down there and we come off the banks over there, drop down and bosh into the bog and it just went straight down. So yeah, that was fun, but it's sort of, you can hardly see now, but there were some big tracks in there before. I'm going to try and show you some of the drainage ditches we put in. So these are part of the drainage ditches that we dug in last summer as well so you've got really good flowing culvert over there and we've got another one that's running sort of make it out down there but these were non-existent when we got here and like a lot of the water was just running out over the fields there it's boggy anyway but it was really boggy and we've dug these in these go all the way down oh, all the way down into the lower sections of the fields and then um, they've made a big difference like the amount of water that's running through that is amazing. And um, it was just spilling out from there over the fields. And we just had, yeah, it's, it's still a bit boggy. It's definitely made a big difference, but we do need to do an awful lot more land drainage work, depending on where we're going to put the buildings and stuff like that and what we're allowed to do. Again, it moves all the way down there. So this is what we class as Finland. It's not in Finland, but... It's called Finland because my dad's called Finn and it's his land and it seems to make a lot of sense. And uh, yeah, it's just been a brilliant thing for, there's been fins on it. I've been here, my dad's been here and we've just been working our way through and you don't really want to do huge amounts with it. It's just nice to have somewhere that you can come and chill out. And like I say, I've camped here loads and uh, we've got a little shelter down there, a little camp shelter and stuff. And just cool, just your little piece of space in it. But um, yeah, well, Put a few more updates and stuff like that as it goes on, but later.